Okay, so let's have a look how to, we will have to turn the engine with this 27 millimeter um, wrench socket. So let's see where it goes in. Actually it is, maybe if I take the camera, we'll be able to see it better. It goes in over here. Basically, you should see it from this perspective. This is our 27 millimeter wrench socket and it goes in over here to this, I think it's called a cram shaft. And later we will rotate this because every time we rotate this then over here the, those shafts are going to move as well. I think I give it, rather give it back. So over here on those, I think it, this is called the shaft, um, you see those little levers and these levers if they are pointing upwards then we can actually measure the, the valve play over here. So I will, I will now use the wrench in order to turn the engine such that one of those levers points straight up and this will be the one, you see it's turning now probably hear some noises from the engine because it is compressing the air. There is nothing wrong with it. Don't turn the camera too fast. And over here you can now see that, that this lever is coming up. Now it is straight up. And now it has the right position so that we can measure the valve play. How is it done? We use our we use oh, where is it? I ah, yeah. we use this device. And actually for the cold engine we said that the valve plane needs to be I think 10 0 0.10 millimeters. Let me quickly look it up. That's actually this 0 0.10 millimeters. So we have a look at one of those metal strings which is 0 0.1 this would be this one in that case I think that doesn't make sense I won't see it. well actually there's 0 0.1 written on it and since this is a cold engine and cold is basically the workshop manual says everything between below 60 degrees um, um, Celsius is considered to be the cold engine. If you're doing this with a warm engine, you have to go for other valve play. Okay, now let's see whether it we can insert that. Maybe you should show it from this perspective. Because it can be a tight fit. Actually, we have some trouble. No. So we can insert this 0 0.10 millimeter into the between the the mm, this shaft and this I think it is called a pressure piece in German and Druckstück and since this is just tightly fitting in the valve play is okay for here. So let's take another one of those outlet um, oops. so over here on the outlet side this lever is showing straight up that means we should be able to insert the 20, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 millimeter. Mm. Metal. So let's try this. It does go, well, I have to force it a little bit, but it actually goes in. So you can see it goes in like this. And actually it can be a very tight fit, that is okay. Yeah. So that would be nice as well. So we have made sure that now over here we have the 25 and over here we have the 0 0.1. And you could either remember those two or you could mark them somehow or you could, um, yeah, because later you, you won't like to forget which one you checked already. So over here we have number one and we have checked on the outlet, we have checked number three. And now I will have to forward the engine. I think rather show this. That's not so interesting. I will rotate it until another lever is 
straight up. So in this case it would be here the lever number 3 on the intake and here it would for example be lever number 2 on the outlet. Now let's check those. Maybe first the intake with a 0.1 millimeter. As I said, should be a tight fit. That is the case. No. Actually almost a little bit too tight over here. And that might be okay. And then the 0.25 over here at number two. Okay. Also pretty tight. But as you can see it goes in. So so that is fine. So what would we do? What would we do if the if the valve play was not correct? Then we would use the 17 millimeter wrench and would insert it over here. And then we can either loosen it a little bit or tighten a little bit and then do the measuring again. And if you want to, to make it a, a bit easier, then you can remove this rubber seal because that gives you a bit more space. So okay, once we are finished, we have to close the cover. It's not so complicated. So we take this rubber piece. Actually, you could try to to clean this part a little bit if you didn't do that before. And then we we'll simply insert that. As I said in the beginning, it's a good idea to renew this part. It is not very costly and it will make sure that your engine stays nicely sealed and doesn't start to leak. Almost it. You can already reinstall that air tube. And then only need to reinsert all the screws. Okay, now we take this 13, once again, this 13 millimeter wrench and we close the both of course close all the screws and in the beginning I would recommend to do it very softly only and try to do all of them. Now we are going to take the Newton meter wrench. This is how mine looks. You have to open it over here and then in this case let's adjust it to I think the workshop manual says between 10 and 15 newton meters, so 10 would be the smallest one adjustable here in any way, so let's go for for example 15, close it over here, put the wrench socket over there, and now we'll see that it makes a, a click once we have reached the 15 and then sh you should simply stop. Let's remember we did this do the opposite side first. Okay, we we'll stop here and do the opposite sit side first and so on. Okay, now the last thing we have to do is to reinstall the spark plug cables. So let's go for number five first. This is number five. And simply plug it in over here, make sure everything is clean. And you get a proper connection later. Should be fine. Then let's go for number four next. Now it would be a good idea to start the engine once in order to see whether it really runs on all six cylinders. Make sure you did not forget any tools, especially the one over here, um, that you did not um, forget to remove the large one. And now let's start the engine. Okay, 
very nice. It runs in all six cylinders. Now the last thing we have to do is only to take care of a proper routing. Maybe if you do the routing you could take care that the cable does not or does touch the engine as little as possible because it gets hot and then I think it would be better for the cable if you if it doesn't touch it unless it's really necessary. Now that's basically all.